In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Father. Today we celebrate the feast of the presentation of the Lord. It's 40 days since Christmas. And on this day, we offer the Mass for the repose of the soul of Ora and Henthil Fire. And we also would like to pray for Richie and Rosa Maria Oterena. Let's pause for a while and pray for God's mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, we humbly implore your majesty that just as your only begotten Son was presented on this day in the temple in the substance of our flesh, so by your grace, we may be presented to you with minds made pure. And we pray that you bless our and Henthil fire with eternal rest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending you my messenger to prepare the way before me. And suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord, who, the Lord whom you seek, and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming, and who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire, or like the fuller's lie. He will sit refining and purifying silver, and he will purify the sons of Levi, refining them like gold and like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will please the Lord as in the days of old, as in the years gone by. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Who is this King of glory? It is the Lord. 
who is the King of, glory. King of glory. It is it the is Lord. The Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, you ancient portals, that the King of glory may come in. Who, who, is, who is the King, King, of glory? King of glory? It is, it the, is Lord. the Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord, strong and mighty. The Lord, and mighty in battle. Who is this King, is of, this glory? King of glory? It, it is, is the Lord. Lord. Lift up, O gates, your lintels. Reach up, your ancient portals that the King of glory may come in. Who is this who is King, this of, King glory? of glory? It, it, it is, is the Lord. Lord. Who is this King of glory? The Lord of hosts. He is the King of glory. Who, who is, is this, this King, King of, glory? of glory? It is, it the, is Lord. the Lord. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Since the children shared in blood and flesh, Jesus likewise shared in them that through death he, made, he might destroy the one who has the power over death, that is, the devil, and free those from through fear of death has been subjected to slavery all their lives. Surely he did not help angels, but rather the descendants of Abraham. Therefore he has come like his brothers and sisters in every way, that he might be merciful and faithful high priest before God to expiate the sins of the people, because he himself was tested through what he suffered. He is able to help those who are being tested. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia a light of conversion to the Gentiles and glory to the people of Israel. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord God. When the days were completed for their purification according to the law of Moses, Mary and Joseph took Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord, just as is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that opens the womb shall be consecrated to the Lord and to offer the sacrifice of a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons in accordance with the dictate in the law of the Lord. Now there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. This man was righteous and devout, awaiting the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he should not see death before he had seen the Christ of the Lord. He came in the Spirit into the temple and when the parents brought in the child Jesus to perform the custom of the law in regard to him, he took him into his arms and blessed God saying, Now, Master, you may let your servant go in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. God, who made the whole world for us, made us for himself. We belong to God. 
my dear sisters and brothers god who made the whole world for us made us for himself and we belong to god the feast that we celebrate today the presentation of child jesus to the lord is yet another festive reminder to us that we all belong to god should i say lock stock and barrel we belong to god all of us completely wholly that's what baptism is about and as we belong to the lord gradually we try to grow day by day into the image and likeness of god who belong to god completely all the time the feast of the presentation of the child jesus is to commemorate two things the circumcision of jesus and also the purification of our blessed mother the jewish idea in those days was that after childbirth the mother was rendered ritually unclean and on the 40th day she would make the journey to the temple to offer the sacrifice for her own purification and also to present the male child to the lord because of that passover edict whereby moses would proclaim that every child <coughs> male child that opened the womb belonged to the lord and so what did the parents do they would offer a young lamb or a little lamb or uh, if they were poor a pair of turtle doves as they offered the child to the lord for the purification of the mother and then in order to buy the child back from god to whom the child belonged the parents were required to pay six shekels a small amount of money very symbolic but in the case of jesus we notice that joseph and mary don't seem to pay that the implicit idea that they did not buy the child back from god in other words that christ always belonged to god but the real truth is that we cannot be bought back from god as we always belong to the lord and so as we go through this gray eucharist let's pray for this grace that you and i will commemorate you and i will renew our baptismal calling that we will always remember that uh, in all that we do we belong to god please rise for the intercessions for the church of god that she like the virgin of nazareth will always be at the service of god and his kingdom we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for our nation that peace and harmony justice and equality prosperity and plentifulness will be there for all we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the many in our community who are ill for our own members of the family and friends who are sick and are going through treatment for those that go through surgery today and for our nation that she may be freed from the virus and that these pandemic times will soon pass and become something of the past we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer for the repose of the soul of ora and hentil fire the parents of indra for whom we offer this mass that god may bless them with eternal rest we pray to the lord lord hear our prayer 
We also pray for Richie and Rosa Maria Octarina, for whom prayers have been requested, that God may listen to our prayers and bless them with his grace as needed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pause to pray for our own children, those that go through faith formation, the ones that have enrolled in the confirmation program, our young adults, that even as we celebrate the feast of the presentation, you and I, as elders in the parish, will be able to bring them to the Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become our spiritual food. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offering made with exaltation by your church be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, for you willed that your only begotten Son be offered to you for the life of the world as a lamb without blemish. And we pray that you bless order and gentle fire with eternal rest. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For your co-eternal Son was presented on this day in the temple and revealed by the Spirit as the glory of Israel and light of the nations. And so we too go forth rejoicing to encounter your salvation and when the angels and saints praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Osana in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Osana in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Michael our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Ora and Henthil, whom you've called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who were united with your son in a death like this may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our parents, sisters, and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. We pray for Richie and Rosa Maria. Grant them, Lord, eternal rest. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her beloved spouse, with St. John Vianney, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may come to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let's sum up our prayers and petitions for our loved ones as we say. Our Father, our Father who, art who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we, we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us deliver from us evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, power and the glory, and the glory are, yours, are yours now and now forever. And forever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer one another a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of, the of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of Lamb. God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
My eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all the peoples. Let us pray. By these holy gifts which we have received, O Lord, bring your grace to perfection within us. And as you fulfill the Simeon's expectation that he would not see death until he had been privileged to welcome the Christ, so may we, going forth to meet the Lord, obtain the gift of eternal life. And we pray that you bless Aura and Henthil fire with eternal rest through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass ascended. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.